here at Nerdy Couple TV, we love all things Marvel. The Marvel Cinematic Universe has really just brought forth those characters in a way that we've never seen before. However, we also really enjoy the Marvel comics. And if you like Marvel comics, the Marvel Superhero Island at Islands of Adventure in Universal Studios Orlando is like the place for you to go. A lot of thought went into the creating of it, and there are some secrets that you may not have been aware of. Here on Nerdy Couple TV, we love all things nerdy, so if you want to join us and talk about nerdy things like Marvel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so that you can follow along every time we post a new video. Marvel Superhero Island had a lot of thought put into it. And one of the big things is the fact that there's like a whole story that goes behind it. And so the story is that an asteroid hit the earth and when it hit, it actually created and turned everything that was there into a comic book version of itself. And so there's an area where there's like yellow spikes coming out and you can see a whole bunch of the Marvel comic books characters. And that is where the asteroid was supposed to hit. So if you look from there, if you look at the ground, there's um, billowing comic-esque clouds coming out from that spot. And then even the chairs, there's benches, benches and I, I don't know, I think like trees and things, but the benches are actually all curved like that cloud shape as well. And it's supposed to be the cloud coming out from where that meteor hit. Another thing you may not know is Adam Kubert designed the characters for Marvel Superhero Island. He was not allowed to sign any of the characters. So what he did was actually go through and he wrote his signature in in some of the areas around the characters. So it's kind of incorporated into the characters in a like secretive way. So make sure to go and see how many times you can find his name throughout Marvel Superhero Island. This last one's a little morbid, but also kind of cool at the same time. And it is over by Doom's Fearfall. So the story behind Dr. Doom's Fearfall, for anyone who doesn't know, Dr. Doom is like the arch nemesis of the Fantastic Four. And in that area, the Doom's Fearfall has a thrill ride that goes up and down. When it comes down, it's supposed to have smashed on the floor. And you can see areas where he smashed kind of around the entrance. But what you may not have fully noticed was that in several of those smashes, there's silhouettes. And these are silhouettes of the Fantastic Four characters. The main one that's like right around the entrance actually has the outline of Sue Storm on there. And it's supposed to be showing where Doctor Doom actually killed the Fantastic Four by smashing him with the Doctor Doom's Fearfall. The last one that I think is really cool is over in the Amazing Spider-Man. This one is not one that you can see when you go through the main entrance, but it is one that you go through with the Express Pass entrance. When you go through the Express Pass entrance, you have a shorter wait, but one of the rooms you get to go through is actually the dark room where Peter Parker gets to create the images for all his photographs. So for those of you who aren't aware, Back before digital cameras, you had to develop the film from photographs in a dark room. And it is actually his dark room in there where he's taking photographs of himself. And you can see the Spider-Man in the photographs. And he's actually developing the photographs in that dark room. And that's just a really cool little fun um, Spider-Man shout out from the comics that anyone who really likes Spider-Man will enjoy. So were any of these secrets a surprise to you? I feel like when I first learned it, the one of Sue Storm and the Fantastic Four being killed by at Doom's Fearfall was like the big one that I would have never noticed if I hadn't just randomly been told that information. Which of these is something that you didn't know about? And then did we leave something out? Is there a secret around Marvel Superhero Island that we just really need to know? Comment below with what that is so that way our followers can all share that knowledge. We will see you next time here on Nerdy Couple TV. And remember, there's always another switchback. If you like this video, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and share this video with your friends.